good shows must end. Willow ended last Wednesday. What a fantastic show it was. We're going to talk about... Uh, we're going to review the eight episodes, the series as a whole, give it out of 10, out of if it's perfect, it gets perfect. If it's out of 10, it's out of 10. And of course, we're going to talk about what the post credit scene meant with the books slash volume. So stick around for that. Subscribe and like as always, spoilers ahead, and let's delve deeper into why Willow was good or whether it was not. Enjoy. So Willow was one of those shows, I'd never seen the film prior to it, and I was like, okay, the, the show's coming out, I need to get the film watched, and the film was remarkable, oh my god, what Warwick Davis and Val Kilmer did in that film, holy hell, from a magical point of view, from a story point of view, to the imagination behind, um, just the entire team that did that, Ron Howard is just a he, he truly captivated it and there's a reason why he did so well with solo very different stories i'm saying but he knows how to make films i'm saying that in the best manner he just is brilliant with what he does um yeah willow the tv show had high expectations from me after that film obviously val kilmer sadly would not take part in it due to his cancer issues his throat cancer issues hence why he only appeared in one scene in top gun maverick but you know he left a legacy he left um a massive imprint on the series. Matt, Matt Mardigan had multiple mentions, voice roles, which I believe were done by his son. Um, so he was involved. You know, the Queen, obviously, who was one of the main characters, the main female from the Willow film, she was involved in the early episodes and she appeared in like a um, hallucinative scene towards the end. Where do you think of the core group in this, in this show, though? Warwick Davis was brilliant. But can we talk about Borman? and Kit. Borman is one of my all-time favourite TV characters. His ability to not give a shit about life and then transition into a character who cares so much about everyone around him, the world, the prophecies, the people, everything he's failed and let down, he wants to make right. Kit, this person who's similar to Borman, closed off the world, was just living this queen princess life, wanted to just live in the palace, didn't want to marry particular people, but wanted to marry the right person, and wanted to live happily behind these walls. She was admitting her sexuality, and as the film uh, series went on, she came into realisation of who she was, who she loved, who she wanted to be, how she wanted to be with people. Her relationship with Laura more than anything, was fantastic. Um, <clears throat> you know, they were very close towards the end. I think they were probably the highlight when you think of relationships. Because we all knew that her and Jade would become close again. We knew that they would solidify their relationship. Moments that would make us just weep. But I think this series just did it all. From developing every one of our heroes to, you know, seeing Warwick, you know, Willow's friend die to... The the brownies returning. I loved his little return because <laughs> he's little. But uh, no, he's. I loved his appearance. <clears throat> I loved how it was so well pasted. The battle scenes with Eric and uh, the crone. I loved the visuals and the world building and the connectivity to the films. Everything about this show just screamed brilliance to me. When you think of excellence, you think of Willow, you think of a fantasy world. And you also think, how could they have done more? How could they have just gone from the film to this? And it's a simple case. Allura meant a great deal of people, uh, a great deal to people when she was a baby. So now she's a teenager or, you know, she's pushing like 20. She was going to mean something to even more people. And to be the wielder of the wand, to be a great sorcerer, and to now be the leader of the underworld as well, now there's two versions of her, it's going to be a great second season, and this is what I wanted to touch upon, what do you think, because there's been no clarity yet from Disney, does the volume 2 and volume 3 in indicate and obviously solidify our promise to get a second and third season, what do you think about that? I, I basically think it's been written in stone. We're going to get a second and third season at some point. Uh, I think a second season is definitely justifiable in the sense of they have to make the whole journey back. They know that we know now as an audience, um, Graydon lived and um, Allura now has an evil version. So we know that's going to play a massive thing into the second season. 
We know Saoirse will come back into it, the Queen. Uh, we hope she has a, a, bit, a, big more, a bit more of an involvement in the second season because I think she, her return has just been a bit underwhelming at the moment. But to have her back in that world and have the original actress obviously says a lot about how much she cared about the film. But I think standouts were obviously Willow as, as Warwick. You know, I think Kit was the main the best person in the show with Borman. But ultimately, I still think Alora did a great job. You know, Eric, Eric did a great job, Graydon, um, and the rest of the crew. So the most part, it was a fantastic show. I think it had a very slow few episodes at the start, but, you know, all of them became irrelevant, you know, how, how slow they were because of how well executed all the storylines were later on and how well the relationships and friendships became. It became a true testament to how close these characters were, and it was so enjoyable. <clears throat> and I loved every aspect of this show, and I hope you guys have the ability to go and check it out. You know, it's not, when I say the ability to have to check it out, I'm saying don't read into the fantasy side of things. Just go and be like, I want to watch something that Warwick did. You know, Warwick is a brilliant actor, something that pays homage to Val Kilmer's performance in the film. And I think if you've seen the film, you'll love the show because the show is in many ways better than the film. The film had a, you know, a tight, close feeling on it that is always going to be magical and loved by many people. But I think the show just expands that. It, you know, makes the world better and bigger. And I just love what they did. And I can't wait for the second and most likely third season. Um, I hope you guys get behind it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm going to give Willow a 9 out of 10. I think that's the most justifiable rating, obviously, because it had its issues in the first few episodes that didn't solidify it for me. But ultimately, by the end of it, it just was a fantastic show with brilliant characters, brilliant visuals. Loved the whole magic and how they managed to perfect that on screen. Costumes were great, relationships, and the whole vibes of the show. So stick around for more Willow content coming soon. I'm going to be doing the character rankings as well, as well as my Vikings Valhalla character rankings. So go check out all the reviews on the channel. Hope you're enjoying the video so far into the, in the new year of 2023. And subscribe and like as always for more. Until next time, goodbye. Thank you.